everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you have not yet be sure to subscribe you can also hit the notification bell down below so you guys can get notified every single time i upload a new video okay guys for today's video i am gonna be doing this eyeshadow right here i'm doing a tutorial on this i got a full-on cut crease i haven't done a cut crease in such a long time i've been sticking to very easy tones very easy looks Pero I wanted to go out of the box today because it's Valentine's Day 2020. I wanted to do something a little more detailed, a little more bold, a little more sexy. As you guys can see, the little smokiness on the side. Now, if you guys are interested on in how I got this Valentine's Day look going on right here, please stay tuned. I love these little clips because it like doesn't crease my hair or anything and gets it all out of the way. Damn, I feel like I went all out with my brows today. So for this Valentine's Day look, I wanted to go with something bold, something sexy, something a little bit more different than what I did from last year because I know I did a red eyeshadow look last year. I want to change it up because I've noticed that Valentine's Day 2020 has been all about the pinks, the purples. So I'm going to stick to those shades and what better than to use my James Charles palette because we got all the perfect shades we need. And per usual, I already concealed my brows. I dragged the concealer down using my Benefit Boing Concealer and then I just gently tap that into place like this. Now I'm ready, let's apply some eyeshadow. We're gonna start off with a transitional shade. The first shade that we're using from this gorgeous palette, I don't know why I said it like that. I'm gonna take this hot pink shade right here. Now I know it's hella bold, but what we're gonna do is coat it in softly so we can use it as a transitional shade and not be too dramatic. So I'm gonna tap on it softly, tap off axis, and then just start applying it right above the crease. Now using the same brush, I'm just gonna sweep back and forth and blending it in. Now don't bring it up too high. I want a little bit of lift space right there because I wanna highlight my brow bone later. The next shade that I'm gonna use is, let's take this maroon tone right here. And I'm using a tapered brush. This one is the Sigma E45. And I'm gonna pop that right inside my crease. And now taking a clean blending brush, I'm gonna merge those two in together. Go in a back and forth motion like this. And creating that beautiful blend that we want. What's crazy is I notice like when I'm doing tutorials, I, I go into straight up concentration mode because I want you guys to get the best idea of exactly what I'm doing. But when it comes to like reviews or other videos, I'm like, <laughs> I can't shut my mouth. Now taking my Boing Concealer with an angled brush, this one's from Practic, I'm gonna cut my crease and I'm actually gonna do it three fourths of the way. Probably end it about right here. I'm not gonna go all the way out. Then when I reach like right here, you see how it looks like a harsh line? I like to just take my finger and blend that in like this. And that should take away the, all the harshness you see. Just like that. Alright, my crease is looking good, girl. I am ready to go on to the next shade. I'm gonna take this gorgeous, like, peach tone shimmer right here. And I'm gonna take a little bit with the flat brush and apply that only to the beginning part of this cut crease. I'm not gonna go all the way in. I'm gonna go about halfway and stop there. Next, I'm gonna take this shade right here 
It's the purple shimmery gorgeous little I don't even know what to call it It looks like a shimmer, but I know it's like a special formula for it I'm gonna apply that with the same brush. I'm actually just using the other side and I'm gonna apply it right here until I get the boldness that I want Here is where la cosa se pone buena. We're gonna smoke it out. We're gonna deepen the outer corners and just make this a very sexy Valentine's Day look. I'm gonna use the same taper brush that I used earlier and I'm gonna go in with this very dark purple shade. Now beginning in the outer corner right here, like the little pocket you feel, just put the brush in there and just apply it and then start going like in a back and forth motion like this, just softly deeping it in. Now notice I'm going like upwards right here. I'm not dragging it all the way in. I'm going about half ways and stopping there. I'm going in a C motion right here, but I'm kind of pulling it back like this towards the tail of my brow so it can give my eye that little sexy feel oh girl Now I'm actually gonna highlight my brow bone. I'm gonna go in with my high brow pencil. This one's from Benefit Cosmetics. I love this pencil, it's so easy to use. Now I'm gonna apply a little bit of liquid liner. I'm actually not doing a wing today. I am gonna apply just a thin liner just to hide the lashes, the falsies that I'm gonna apply. And I'm gonna go in with my LA Colors Matte Liquid Eyeliner in black. Now before I add my false lashes, I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl Mascara. This one is called The Exhibitionist. So, taking a thin layer, only a thin layer, guys, remember that. Lightly coat your lashes. And for the falsies that I'm gonna be using today, these are Vixi in Pink. These are so cute, I love the packaging. Um, this is my first time trying out these lashes. These were sent to me. And these are in the style wifey. Oh, these are cute. All right. Damn, let me zoom y'all in so you guys can see this. Bam. Cute. Now I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup off camera because you guys seen me do my face routine a billion, trillion, gazillion times. So let me do that and I will be right back. And this is the finished look guys. What do you guys think of this Valentine's Day look? This is a pink and purple full on cut crease with a little smokiness on the outer corner, some nice bold lashes, fully glam to the gods beat face. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys the highlighter that I use. This is the Wet n Wild uh, Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This one is in the shade, where is it? I know it's Blossom Glow, but I just wanted to double check. But look how bomb the highlighter is though. It has like a little tint of pink to it. That's why I liked it for this look. And then for the lippy, I used the matte liquid lipstick from Pixie. And this one's in the shade Really Rose. And I really like this lippy for this look because it's a nude shade, yet it has a pink tone to it. And I feel like that is like the little cherry on top. It brings the whole look together. I got Ellie right here. She wanted to come out in the video, apparently. <laughs> But that is all I got for you guys for today's video. I hope you guys liked this Valentine's Day look. And if you did, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Please tag me if you recreate this. I would love to see all of your looks. Don't forget to hit that like button. And I will see you guys on my next video.
Bye. Can you say bye, Ellie? Say bye. Good job, mommy.